What's going on you guys? This is Luigi Rocks 2014 here with part 4 of Kirby Star Allies. Um we're continuing with the second world planet Pop Star. Um and today we're heading into a snow level. Um one of the snow levels of white wafers as you guys may remember from Return to Dreamland. So let's do this. Oh yeah, I got rid of that power-up because I just didn't really want it. Yep, I'll just have the fire ability. Yep. <clears throat> Alright, yep, so let's do this. <clears throat> it's still July 24th of 2023 that I that I'm recording this video or post recording <clears throat> but for you guys <clears throat> for you guys you won't be seeing this video until uh, the 7th of April 2024 so yeah yep, just hit that switch there grab more of the point stars and then just head in here Let's go on up there. Yep, I don't really need Burning Leo. I'll just have the firepower up itself on hand, just because why not. Yeah, we gotta hit that switch, so let's do this. Yeah, there really isn't nothing down below, so that's part of the reason I just decided to not break the ice or whatever. Uh, I mean, there's there's some stuff down there. Yeah, the got the puzzle piece that's over there, and then yeah, that's about it. So let's go into the door. <clears throat> there. Alright, let's see what's in here. Uh, nah, I don't really want that guy. Yeah, you can, if you want the mic power-up, you can get it, but it's like, honestly, I don't really care about that ability. You can only use it for like a certain amount of times, and then that's it. As I had mentioned previously in Return to Dreamland, you know, it only has a few limited amount of uses to it. Otherwise, it just becomes a useless power-up in the end. Uh, I would probably prefer to replace plug. So let's do this. <clears> hmm. <throat> no, I don't think I want the splash hammer. But okay. Yeah, there we go. The sizzle hammer. That's much more like it. I was gonna see what was up here. Okay, well, don't want to go in there just yet. Yep. Alright, let's head over here and see what we got. <clears throat> Yep, so not much else down there, so we'll just head into the door. <clears throat> Alright, um... Uh, where am I supposed to... Okay, maybe I have to go down here? Yeah, it kind of gets kind of confusing figuring out where the heck to go. Alright, 
Yeah, I don't really need the stone power up to be honest. There we go. Yep, so just head over here. Yep, grab those puzzle pieces and then we'll head into the door. <clears throat> Alright. And then the next area. Uh, nah, I'm good. Probably, yeah, Tripoli will be replaced. Alright, let's get the zap hammer. There we go. Alright, and then we'll head into this cannon here. Yep, these little cannon thingies are back once again. Yep, let's, let's just go in there and then make our way over here. Yep, so just head here. Yep, more puzzle pieces to collect. Come here, pal. I'll take that key and then yep, we'll just make our way out here. Yeah, I kind of just prefer the hammer power up. Alright. So I think this is, okay, yeah, the friend bridge. So what this does is, yeah, it allows this guy, this little enemy to come over here and unlock the door. And I got enough chilies as it is, I don't need another one. I want the sword power up actually. Alright. There we go. Uh, what do we have this time? Friend bridge, friend circle, what could it be? And it looks like it's gonna be the friend bridge. Nice. Yeah, I don't know why it needs to show this cutscene, but okay. Bring this guy over here, he'll open up the door once again, and then just grab all the point stars and all the other collectibles there are in that area. Ugh, I'm not taking no stupid sleep ability. That was like the one thing that killed me that one time in the first level. So yeah, I'm not falling for that bullshit again. Yeah, if you want the cleaning power up, you can have it, but honestly, I can give a shit less about it, so. Yeah, we're pretty much done with this level, so. Yep, just get rid of that guy. Oh yeah, I was grabbing the green stars that were up there. Green points, point stars or whatever. Alright, so we're at the end of the level, so. So, let's just get this gold game done. Yep, do the jump. Hopefully we land on something good. Hey, we landed on number one. Awesome. Finally, about dang time I got up to the top here. Nice, we finally completed a picture. The first rival. Oh, that's right, because King DDD was Kirby's first rival slash enemy. Yeah, I still consider him to be one of my favorite villains in the Kirby series.
Alright, now for this level. Why am I getting rid of the sword power up? Yep, this one is a level based off the seventh world of Return to Dreamland Dangerous Dinner. Yep, we're not really going into like Nutty Noon or nothing like that. We're just jumping right into this level. Oh yeah, and the wing power-up is especially another one of my favorite power-ups as well. Um, yeah, you don't really get any upgrades with this power-up, but... I like having this power-up around because it just makes flying so much easier, in my opinion. Yep, so that's one of the reasons I like this power-up a lot. So we're just gonna keep flying around to see if there's anything around here we can go for. Oh, there's a puzzle piece there, so we're gonna have to get that. Biospark. Oh yeah, that's just the ninja guy. Yeah, I'm not to be mistaken for that. But yeah, I like the wing power-up a lot because you fly a lot faster with it, unlike in your original form where you fly really slowly. So yeah, this power-up definitely has some speed to it, which is what I love about it. Um, um, yeah, I guess so. Replace Biospark? I mean, I don't really need him. I prefer the wing power-up over the ninja power-up any day. Like, the ninja power-up's awesome and all, but if I had to pick between that or the wing power-up... For normal levels, I'll pick the wing power-up, but if it's a boss fight... I'd probably have to say the... Um... I'd probably have to definitely say the ninja power-up. You, so just yep, let's head into the store here. I think you need the wing power up for this next area. Oh no, you don't. What? Okay, so yeah, I'm probably gonna replace. No, well, I guess I won't replace Chili. There we go. Yeah, for some reason I still can't get to the power-ups that are in there, but then again, that's because there's one more chain that needs to be broken. There we go. Yep. Didn't really want Biospark as an ally, but it's like, it doesn't really appear like I'm really being left with any choice here. Alright, come on. Let's get to the next area. Yeah, this video ended up being a little bit shorter than the last few parts. I don't know if it was because I was only able to record just two videos or or what it was, but yeah. Oh yeah, I could probably replace Chili and get a upgraded version to to enhance his health, but then again, why the hell would I want to do that? Okay, yeah, I was being really stupid here and, and ended up diving into the lava, so I think I lost my wink power up possibly for good. Unless I find it somewhere in here. No, I have to go to the other side. I don't know what the heck those guys are doing. Like, bro, I didn't mean to go that way. <laughs> Yeah, over here is a switch, which I think unlocks the extra stage. Yep. That's good. Well, at least it'll make the next video a little bit longer. 
Because I'm almost certain there's not really a whole lot of levels left for Planet Popstar anyways. Yeah, I think next video we actually do finish Planet Popstar up for sure. I don't really want the... Oh, okay, wait, yeah. That's what I want. I want the cutter ability. Dang it. Yeah, I would try to get the wing power up, but if we're going up against a boss fight, I think the cutter ability might be better. Because yeah, I don't think the wing power up really is meant to be used during boss fights at all. In my opinion, so... Yeah, we'll just use the cutter ability. Well, I thought we were going up against a boss, but I guess not. Yeah, I'm kind of being stupid by just taking the long way up around, but... You know, I just, I'm not really giving enough of a crap to care. But then I thought, oh, maybe I want the fight fighter ability. Yeah, that didn't work out so great trying to grab that. Alright, yep, there we go. Okay, yeah, that was definitely stupid what I did there. Yep. Yeah, here at this part, I was just being really dumb. Alright, come on, let's try to get out of here. Let's get into the cannon, and then... And, thank, and yeah, we're pretty much at the end of the level, so... Alright, there's about one more minute left of the video. I think all it is is just me. I think it's just showing me beating the level and stuff, so let's see what we get. Oh, nice! First place again, not bad. Wow, and we've made it up to 40 lives. Yeah, see, there's no way I'm getting a game over with that many lives. Um, so yeah, that's basically it for this video, guys. So thank you all for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to join the Discord down below. And I'll see you guys next time when we continue and finish up the rest of Planet Popstar. Until then, this is Luigi Rocks 2014 signing out, and I'll see you all next time. Later, guys.